the cape we have we have the cape and accessories included I know the description says without standing accessories but I would really like them mainly the cape and other accessories so they don't want the stand um, it's a two feedback buyer what would you do well I guess it all comes down to do you even have them I still do so I'm gonna go ahead and take two out of there I uh, adjust my inventory and send them because uh, they asked for it. I'm going to send them a message that you can't, you got to buy the complete figure next time because there's a separate listing. I'll, I'll link that to them as well. As your reminder, Valentine's Day is coming in like a month and a week. <laughs> I'm not sure how Lloyd fits in there or these instructions or a Duplo seal, but there it is. Here's a nice order. It's fun to see when your your hard work pays off. That you, I took a few hours doing this castle, guys. <laughs> sold four of them on I on Bricklink. I have some some for sale on eBay. I think I sold one lot of three Lion Knights, the newer Kingdom ones. That went out today, but I don't know if I sold any other ones that I did then. Um, but this one I did list as the gold is fading. If I can get it. So. It's not perfect, but otherwise, it's listed that way. So, it's still there. And away they go. Final order of the morning on Bricklink. Bought a Dark Forestman. What time is it? 7.16 a.m. So, uh, PayPal finally went over to ship station. It said in June of last year they were going to switch over, but... I'm watching a three-minute tutorial to make sure I know and I'm, not, I'm talking through it, so it's probably simple. All right, ship station for PayPal is absolutely terrible. You can't even print a scan form for the post office. There's no possible way. So we made it here, and I got it all working. The only thing I got to perfect is because uh, you can fill out a spreadsheet how to make that fast to get the to copy everything into a spreadsheet because I was like copying name. Going back, copying address, copying city, zip code. Um, there's got to be a better way, a faster way. So I asked Ralph for Ralph's bricks what he does, because I know he uses this. So, moving to pirate ship for all Bricklink and Brick All orders. I'm going to stop being lazy, and I got four, four new cards I'm making. So, these cards I organized my eBay store with. I start by just putting the name and pretty much the Bricklink number, and then I'll just throw that Bricklink number in, and then get all the information for this from that. And I cut these out in the little rectangular squares, and this one I usually I try to I try to write in this area that it'll cover. So I'll probably just turn this one around. I know Ralph, he, he on the back of his, he actually puts the accessory part number or what it is that he uses with them, which is very smart. Um, I haven't got to that point because I sometimes run out. I'll, I'll just re-photograph things if I don't have the right accessory because I don't. It just depends on what it is, or I'll wait to get the accessory. Yes, please respond to open offers. Forty. Goodbye, forty listings. I don't know if these people just don't 
Are they blind? Like, do, can they not even see? What about this one? Oh yeah, it's just normal use condition. Oh yeah, it's wonderful, it's great. 99 seems good, but you gotta look at the, the details. They've had 33 neutrals, 14 <laughs> complaints, and the uh, uh, colors are washed out. Like, obviously they don't care that they sell terrible parts, because they just keep doing it. So I'm gonna have to dislike this store uh, at this point. Saturday morning chatting with Ralph here, and uh, because of the shipping fiasco that PayPal has put me through, we hit a crossroads where we thought we should uh, try to do something, and he set me up here just like him. <laughs> say, say hi to all your fans, Ralph, on my channel. Hello. Hello, all two of you. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Ralph. Here we go again. My camera's upside down. Yeehaw. There, I think I flipped it. Don't even know. Anyway. This is the best haul ever part two in here. So, got a little bumpy ride. Uh, I don't really know what's in here other than a couple of themes, Star Wars, um, Disney Princess, uh, some more Lord of the Rings, I think. What else? Oh, Superhero. That, that was the other one. Star Wars and Superhero should be the bulk of this, I think. And uh, I'll see what's in here. Uh, so I'm not going to open the tape. I don't even need the knife. Sometimes you need a knife to make you feel strong. This is a tiny knife. Anyway, I just cut myself. Just kidding. So now we're going to, we're going to rip it open. That's it. Going through, I got, I don't know, five pounds of bulk here that I requested. It's pretty good. It's not terrible. It's not like gem here, gem there, which I didn't expect, but there's some pretty good stuff in there. Um, got a light up mace window, but it doesn't work. I'm not going to try to fix it, but I'll still sell it like that. Um, got some sets of Sesame Street. Only got one actual Scooby in there. Um, I didn't even open that bag yet, or that bag, or that bag. I just opened this one. It has some DC superhero girls, whatever, in there. It has some Seinfeld and other Disney princess stuff. We counted 70 some baby Yodas, so that is a that's a hit. Yeah, I don't ha I haven't had any of those for a while. <laughs> I was thinking about buying the Battle on Tatooine set to get some more. Like this is more like just CMF, Harry Potter, Simpsons, ooh, Cheshire Cat. Series one Disney. That's I see some in there. That's nice. Uh, Star Wars is just it's not anything high dollar. Uh, I mean there's a couple of things that were okay. Um like I pulled one out. Oh the old Captain Wolf. A taskmaster that's really good lots of ant-man statues um this is the bag for all this stuff and then this has some pretty decent stuff in it, it has some incredibles uh, newer superhero mostly newer superhero stuff which is okay um there's some good stuff in there and the next nights were a flop <laughs> These are from the, that battle pack, and then yeah, they must not have very many. That's okay. And this guy. So, clean this up, and we'll start working through it. All right, got that put away. A couple things on my desk to get to Monday. That's another haul. And then we got this. This is my oldest Brickling get order. That's just in the comic. I ordered this, I want to say in November. Or early December. I'm not sure. It was later in November or early December. Um, but I think there's just a couple of lots. Um, I came from, I think, I want to say Russia. 
Uh, let's just dump it out. Yeah, pick it up. Ooh, that's a looks like a weird snake clump of snakes coming out. That was weird. Oh, somebody commented they call this the white ones ghost poop. It's a good name for it. Um. So I don't know. This is just a Bricklink order that they had really good prices on some poly bags. So I bought a quantity. And this surprisingly became harder to find, I guess, pretty quick and became popular. Not sure about this one. I haven't seen this at my store. I haven't seen these at the store in a while. At least I don't go to too many stores lately, but some stores may have abundance. I think it's, that's all I have in here is just those three poly bags. So felt like it's a good thing to invest in for doing you know, conventions, having these available. And I'll obviously be party all over half of these. So that's that. Until Monday. If I can get this camera to work, I think I'm getting a hang of it. This was it gyrosphere or whatever you call this thing. Put your phone in. That's a mess. I gotta clean up. Negative wind chills. We do the treadmill today. We got a good view though. Not too bad, and it's uh, what is it? Oh, it's about 45 in here, so it feels good. Welcome to Monday, once again, the 10th of January. This is uh, 99 plus items. I'm not even sure the exact number. Somebody bought 40 sports cards in one haul, though they offered on a lot of them, and I accepted those offers. I found a new clock that I didn't know existed because uh, Tavern Brick showed me that. Um, we're not going to look at Bricklink and Brick Owl. I have a new way of doing that, so it's one by one now. We'll look at that when that comes. But I have everything pulled here. And I went uh, onto <laughs> some over there, too. So we're going to have space a little bit. This is the big shark that I talked about. So I'm going to get this all printed out, I got everything ready to print, and uh, get it off the dev, out of here, out the door, out the door. Alright, what time is it? Lloyd is MIA once again. I know where he is. Did I show this? I moved that white desk out of that area, I lowered it for now, <laughs> until the ping pong season's over. Good morning, Lloyd. Now it's time for the fun stuff. Forget my coffee. All right, this process is still the same. What is different here is to come over here and PM start. Start that thing. It's going. Orders. Let's see if this works. Whoa. Today's orders. There it is. We got 15 on Bricklink, 5 on Brickell. And there are the numbers 319 lots. Bricklink, 46 lots on Brickell. 20 total orders in the last 48 hours, which is actually lower than it's been. It's like half of what it was before I was getting like. Uh, 16, 17 a day, the first six days of the, the month, so, which is fine. I'm ready to do this. So then, um, all I do is go down to here. So my, I had to set this up a little differently. It, that wouldn't fit with my laptop. So I do have my eye on 11, 11 inch laptop that folds under at the touch screen that I can use. <clears throat> I don't know if that'll work good with, with hitting space bar, but so we hit start pulling and it's loading it up right here and uh, all you do see the magic of the space bar there's the first part there it is 46 is 2 
space bar again. Next part comes up. 260 is one. Let's go. And there is the first order. Now it has a total time. He hasn't completed that. Ralph's bricks is what this is powered by, if I didn't show that at the beginning. Um, so that doesn't actually work uh, someday, maybe. And then I gotta do, I can actually do the shipping methods. This is gonna just be a four ounce thing. This, the reason I had to do this is because PayPal <clears throat> moved to ship station and it's terrible. You can't even print a scan form for the post office. So some days I'll have 35, 40 orders and they have to scan each one where before I could print a scan form. They just had to scan the one form. And I think it's ridiculous to make them scan everything when there's an easy solution. So I moved to pirate ship and it's amazing easy so what he's done is he's programmed this to create the spreadsheet at the end so this will be a four ounce order I have my scale right here ready to weigh things uh, on the go so I get to get it all correct right away in the middle of my largest uh, lot count it's 88 it doesn't show it here it shows at the top of the page but the best one of the best parts about this is it tells me I'm out of, I'm halfway done I'm on 44 I need one of those There we go. Space bar 2868 is two. We keep going. God, the last part is in 9915. They're plates, two by eight. Two of them. So I've grabbed them. But as I, as I was grabbing them, I found two by sixes in there. So daily goals is it a goal just a list my wife corrected me it's just a list you make every day <laughs> i'm not a list maker type of person um but i'm trying to get so i can get things done so this definitely needs to be audited because i pulled these out and they need to find the right spot what's a little different about this is this is the brick owl or brick link that's left and then this is brick owl i haven't pulled one brick owl order yet so the way ralph has it set up if I can get my camera to turn for me, <laughs> um, is that it comes in by what orders came in first. So that is where we're at. The first workout order will be pulled. Here we go. Is it working out well? It definitely is. It, it did freeze on me once and I had to restart it, which is not too big of a deal, uh, but I'll have to go back through for some of the orders and manually enter the shipping into the it created a second spreadsheet or edit the one that I get because um, that's the purpose of this is to try to help with uh, making shipping easier now that PayPal has made shipping harder. Having this large picture is really good. I love it. There's no mistaking what you're looking for. It's huge. 352. came well not just one it's weird it doesn't even show the hair in that picture but we have a box of these downstairs we didn't make it far before we had to open the box in the kitchen and see what's in there very nice all right here it is there's some extras in here uh, two poly bags it's like two magazines and we're dumping the rest Oh, a couple hit the floor. Who wants them? Uh, looks oh, another magazine. Oh, nice. So we got three free magazines. Throw it on top. Two poly bags, and I paid for 150 series 22. And 10, they only had 10 of these new Mario. So I'm going to probably hold on to these for now. Should I get more? Those are some cool characters. Um, you never know, sometimes there's hidden gems in this stuff. Nice, nice uh, guy that gives me this stuff. It's awesome. I'll be getting to that later. I think I'm just going to leave it right here. I don't need my table, so, well, I need it for this. Oh, don't you love sellers that uh, have no regard for a customer service, basically? 
Tell me to send these back to uh, Europe to get a full refund. <laughs> uh, since it's so much, can you send them back to my address? I mean, that's just ridiculous. His, uh, like I says, use, uh, we have different, people have different uh, determinations of what's used. I spent uh, 132 euros in a store and he's complaining, it's probably what, 12, 13 dollars he's got to refund me? Maybe a little bit more, I don't even know. He had the wrong, he put yellow hands in the Cyclops store so it should be bright like yellow. Those are not easy to come by. <clears throat> so his determination of used is, that's that's got some marks on it, it's okay. Just a couple marks, you know. Not bad. Each of these Indian ones have two marks on all the sides. Unacceptable. This was supposed to be a Captain Cold. Uh, a Captain Cold uh, whatever hood. He sent me just a regular Arctic hood. It's like... Let's see. So a dollar, 60 euros. Sent me like a 25 cent piece. Terrible store. I send him a message. I'm not uh, sending him back unless you send me a return label to send shipping international, and then uh, I'd expect a full refund. Yes, ridiculous. Put off uh, organizing accessories for a little too long. Is this upside down? Um. So anyway, I am going shopping. So let's see what I can pull out of here. Like, definitely need some of these. I need some rings. I was out of black hilts this morning. I had to take them out of the store, so. Um, I'm actually looking for a little revolver, so I guess I need these. Let's find them. All right, here's the pile. So, something really great happened when I was looking here. There they go. One of these is good. This is very good. One is better than the other. That's one of those, if you know, you know. Anyway, I came looking for revolvers, and I found like four of them. Some of this stuff I just took out because it doesn't belong in here. Uh, like minifig parts. And other stuff I'll sort that I know I use a lot. Put it away for later. Alright, just after lunch. Um, so on my, uh, I don't even know where my list is. I have mail and audit the drawer. <laughs> so I bought, and this, this was on my list on maybe Saturday. So I gotta add animals and then uh, I'm gonna do that first. I'm actually not gonna do the mail. I'm gonna do the, these animals, get them out of the out of here, and then I'm gonna go right to that because I want to get those for sale. I checked it. The minifigs are not inventory for their parts, but you can put the complete minifigs on there and the accessories. So that's what I'm gonna do. Eight, 12 drawers plus a couple extra. I have to get something else for everything else. Lloyd's swimming and line bags he's, in, he's enjoying it a little too much today a little too much all right we are done opening them well it says it's 233 so it's a pretty picture there now i'm gonna figure out what to do with all of them and hopefully get them uploaded by the by 345 so i gotta head head out and get the mail out of here by then all right, there is 17 of this person. It's the bird, I guess the bird watcher they call it. So it's got 17 of these. Um, so I did seven complete. I can't part any out to Bricklink yet, but I got 10 of them ready for the photography booth. There's two figures in here that I'm going to do that with so far that I for sure will do. Um, but uh, once they are inventoried, I may take a couple of these down if they're still there and part them out These of these seven. But for now, that's how I got to do it. All right, we are down to six. Six remaining. Six remaining. So I got six uploaded. Um, obviously, some uh, out of the six, I'm only going to photograph these two: this figure skater, the chili pepper. Sometimes, if I have a ton of them, I'm going to do that right now. But I'll be getting another batch, um, you know, early in February potentially. So, 3:30, I got to clean up, put my uh, drawers away. They're full now, my full drawers, uh, except these ones. I didn't get to that, that one or this one, so these ones gotta go back, back and backward again. Oh, we got a lot of stuff added. Keep it going. All right, we are on Tuesday morning now. 6, 12 a.m. Light me up, green. Green, Lloyd, light up green, Lloyd. Uh, 
I got some more mail yesterday from the P.O. Box and uh, got myself a clipboard from Walmart to write a weekly list. Did I show that? I might have already showed this. Anyway, I didn't show anything on the eBay is all done. It's all here. I got two of these at Walmart. That's all I have. So I might park this out later, but obviously I got to take care of the CMFs. I already sold, I already sold out the, the small elf guy with the acorn hell helmet um there we go today's order is 111 2022 got a good number of lots good dollar amount for sure i like to see that so we're gonna get pulling this uh yesterday um i did add tw 20 total orders i think after seven orders it froze up and after eight it did and i think it's something to do with the lot count loading that so I have to this time make sure if it does happen again to get the air out of PowerShell and let Ralph know. So here we go. Powered by Ralph Spriggs on YouTube. Here's the big order. It's uh, 1,134 items, 135 lots, so 10 items per lot. So let's see how good this goes. 6, 26 a.m. So hit spacebar to start. In drawer 10, there's four. I'll get those out. It is here. I packed it 7.04. I started at 26 after, so it almost took me 40 minutes. Uh, but I know I didn't miss anything. Because I can't go, to, I can't see the next drawer or the next, well, I can see the next part, but I wouldn't know where to find it. So you hit spacebar, so it's a great program. Uh, I just had to refund someone for what a lot I missed this morning from last week. Uh, very nice. Didn't, didn't ask me to send it. It sounded like he was just buying parts to put in their store, so. And they just let me refund them, so that was awesome. And I gotta bag this up, and we're getting close to done. There's not much two more after this one. This order had two of the four selves. It's probably my favorite piece. And the definitely top three is this acorn helmet. Way better than the safety helmets that that company makes. Those are just weird. Not needed in the Lego world, but the acorn helmet definitely needed. All right, this is where yesterday I had some trouble. Let's see. It made it. It went to the next one. Nice. And then the second time I had an issue when I was going from... Uh, order eight to nine so we're on eight here set the weight if as long as i see that move down to nine that means it worked it worked and it's up nice oh boy this order has a lot of duplo i checked the weight when i was doing the label it's over a pound 28 dollar order so that's why i don't sell duplo typically but this one we'll deal with and move on here's the non-duplo part of the order and then the duplo part of the order <laughs> two new two new bricks over here and all that stuff will it fit in a padded flat red envelope let's find out there we go so i have a i have an ebay lot up for i don't know someone offered 50 bucks free shipping for 500 duplo bricks and they declined that um these are ones that i actually listed some of them and so it's only eight bucks to ship so i still made some money on it for stuff i was just going to get rid of on bulk so not bad so that set was a limit or that order got to number nine won't go to ten all right got a note on this order and this video is filming weird all right so he's <laughs> got a note on this order here love the channel so much great informative content. I only need a few things right now, but wanted to support your great store. I'll be back in the future for a bigger order. For now, thanks for the awesome videos and keep killing it on YouTube and your brick stores. Thank you so much. Let's pull the order. It's awesome. 11.58 is two, which is right by me. Right here. Two green Futurons. And Spider-Man's going to be 38.55, just one.
Boom. Cool. Thank you so much. Keep on watching. These guys didn't last long. They are a special one. Mail's out the door. I'm gonna finish this. That's what I wanna do. First thing on my list is get through the mail, all that mail, but we'll get this off the table first. Get this for sale, then we'll go through the mail. And get to the, my other desk over there and do the rebuilds of stuff that's sold. We are on the space alien thingy. Not sure his real name. So I grabbed some other parts that I needed to do something with this guy. We'll see what happens. Like magic. There we go. I know I know that it doesn't really come with the face shield, the visor or whatever. I don't think I just said I just saw talk as I go, but uh, I put it on there anyway. And uh I think I have two more helmets left. One is on the actual character that came in Knight's Kingdom 2. So he might become never again rebuilt. These helmets are going like 20 bucks each almost now. They just keep jacking up the price. It's crazy for a dark purple helmet. All right, we reached the last item. This guy here, it's all gone. I can cross it off my list, which is it's way down on my on my goals for today. CMF 22 was number I got, uh, uh, four. Battle pack's coming next. Uh, then I'll get to the mail, and then I got an auto drawer 9915 with the best parts I found in there still. So we'll get it done. And the last thing is to unbag that huge haul or put away these. I have two hauls over there that I got to put away. They're just uh, over there hanging out. That first box right there has poly bags in it. So that is on my list to, to list some complete ones, but tomorrow I have help coming, so we're gonna part out all the quantity of those that, I'm, that I don't put for sale. This is a great battle pack. I mean, 20 bucks, you know, it's just inflation, right? The best thing about this is that they have different color heads and they're all four are different. Well, there's two of the, the light ones, but then there's, and this is a female one, which is awesome. I guess maybe it isn't. The lips look like it. I don't know. This one definitely is. So, so cool. So I'm just going to put these on my shelf. I'm not even going to try to get any more right now. This is just what, if I see them at the store, maybe I'll pick up some more if these figures fly out the door. But I'm going to put these all in for clink right now. These figures complete. I went ahead and made a mess. So we ended up at it. Only, only get, could get 10 of these with the guy that uh, got the CMF 22 from. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six variety. So we had duplicates of four of them. I don't even know their names, but um, I was going to put the complete pack. So I'm only one person is selling them in, in uh, the United States for four bucks a pack. And that was kind of close to what I paid for them. So I went ahead and decided to open them all up. And I'm just going to put them individually as characters, brand new, and move from packaging. Here, on to Bricklink. So my poly bag, poly bag list, which included those Mario bags, is just this. So I got five of each of these. These are going to go back into the card out box for tomorrow. And I'm going to put a couple on Bricklink, and then a couple in my convention bin of these. All right, checked off some stuff. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do the audit, the drawer right now. So what I did is I looked up where these two by sixes should be, which is in three, seven, one, seven. And it says I should have 25 of them in there. So that's what I'm gonna look for. We currently have just two, four, six, eight. We only had 10 in there. So now we have 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So I'm on the hunt for five of those. There could be a chance that I I wasn't paying attention. I could have sent those out in another order if I wasn't looking at what parts I was grabbing. Um, out of the store, so. 
looks like it's not going to be as simple. Oh, here's one. As simple as just doing this, I might have to stump it out and have a good look at it. All right, didn't have to dump it all out. Took that out, and we have our five missing. Uh, what do you want to call them? Two by six plates, because that's what they are. Oh, back to the list. It's always good to envision your day in the middle of the day or sometime throughout it once you start checking off some things. So I checked off unbag haul, broke photo and list, and then unbag haul under that. So going back up to mail. This one might be, I take a little while because it's somebody else's basically, I want to say I bought 60, 70% of the store. They said they watched the videos and I bought from them before. Looks like they're getting out of it or moving or starting over. Um, so I'm hoping this doesn't take me more than 90 minutes and I'll take a break for lunch. And then I will go right on to photographing. I gotta figure out, I'll turn it this way. There we go. And uh, so I had this ready. There might be a few more that end up coming in here. This It's not a ton, but it's stuff I really wanna get these for sale. So I'm gonna take the time today, get that going. Um, but I should probably do these as well. So at some point before I, probably right before I list these, I'll probably quickly see if I can create anything here and get moving on. Oh, I got scales though. I thought this was in my big haul. He was in there. Still debating whether I should put him for sale. I probably will just jack up the price 10 bucks because of that helmet. I hope someone might just buy him for the helmet at my current prices. He would have been like 11, 10, 11 bucks at that price. But no, the helmet is extremely hard to find and rare. Well, it's not hard to find. Someone has a ton of them, but they're charging a lot. I think this is a special order. Comes with these little plastic cases. It's probably for many things, I would imagine. But here's the reason I came. These were, these were used. And they all look good, as far as I can tell. A little rubbing on that one on the bottom, but. Yeah, I have to bring this up to my area anyway. These guys waiting for it. So that will complete five of them for $4.50 each pair. 167 orders I had placed with the store. It's a record. I barely, I only place maybe once a, once a month now, maybe once every six weeks. All right, we're getting through it here. Um, it's not even noon yet, and I just have, this is an easy order. This is an easy order. Pretty easy. Pretty easy, and then this was the bigger one that's left. Actually, I still have the big one. I don't even know where I put it. Oh, the big Brooklyn store one. That's I'm doing that one last, but anyway, got these, and then I got these, and then um, it's one of those huh moments you have. Let's see, I got, I got a SpongeBob, sixty-one cents. I don't have any details on it. Here it is. Oh, it's, that, that's the back. Oh, no, that's the back. Wait. Is that on the top? Where's the head? Where's the printing? I've never seen that. What happened? What happened here? How did they... How did they list that as SpongeBob's uh, open smile pattern? That is strange.